WHDD presents Susan Says. In an effort to escape the news, I'm going to try to be busy reading, watching TV, going to theater. Here are a few reviews. A most interesting evening, The One Woman Show by Margaret Trudeau. Oh, that rhymes. It's called Certain Woman of an Age. The former wife of Canadian sexy former prime minister and the mother of this sexier one. Yeah, that Margaret. She was a party girl and often scandalized, but it turns out she was not well, bipolar, and hospitalized three times. She is now a wonderful spokesman for mental health. She's doing a one-person show about her life. She's warm and lovely as well. I got to go backstage and meet her. Very sweet. She had a very interesting life, to put it mildly. Anyway, She was in her early 20s when she married Pierre, who was in his 50s. She was not prepared or helped in any way for the role. She's worth seeing and doing a great job on the war against mental health issues. This week at the UN, she's speaking also. The TV show Succession, which is a thinly disguised version of the Murdochs, I guess, is really good. The secrets of a family who are devouring each other and ruining media sound familiar? Brian Cox stars. A couple of the actors are amazing. The guy who plays the dumb nephew is so real and vulnerable, I want to hug him. And the oldest son, who's a junkie, is tortured. Good job. A fun watch. Last week, they were on one of those secret weekends where rich and famous go and try and impress each other and eat expensive salads and hike. Loved it. A book which is the hottest thing going sold for $2 million, is so unreadable, I want my few dollars back. I'm shocked. Really, The Secrets We Kept is supposedly the story of the affair between Boris Pasternak, famous Russian author of Dr. Zhivago, and a woman in Russia. It's intercut with D.C. CIA-ish ladies like the Bletchley Group of Code Breakers, but it's written at the level of C-Spot Run, Run, spot, run. Honestly, it talked about Turkey for one page, the food, not the country. I just can't. I just can't keep reading it. I want my money back. Yikes. Now, for the worst thing ever on TV and in our country, that snotty little Corey Lewandowski, former aide to Durrani and man with no lips, but what sort of lips he does have, fixed in a sneer nasty temperament in front of Congress, refusing to answer questions, talking back to everyone. I felt like kicking the TV. This guy is the epitome of this administration and should have been dragged out in handcuffs, but the Dems are too wussy, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. That's another piece I do when I'm really annoyed. Well, okay then. Oh, come on. Impeach this dictator wannabe now. Exposed as possibly giving secrets to Putin. We'll wait and see the latest scandal. But this Lewandowski guy is actually running for office. If anybody votes for him, well, they deserve him. I'm going to read Margaret Atwood's sequel to The Great Handmaid's Tale now. I hope it's as great as the first part, which we are sadly living, and she knew about it in 1985. That's how prescient she is. Can't wait to read this sequel. I'll let you know if it's good. High hopes. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.